had been working on this project as my dissertation. And when he went to Afghanistan in the summer of 2010, I decided to turn it into a book. And I shot him an email and said, I'm going to go for it. And uh, I, I'm not sure he took me seriously, but I showed up in Afghanistan and sent him an email, said, I'm doing this. And he saw I was sharing hardship with the troops and said, go for it. You're a runner. And, and he, to, to, to get to know him, he wanted to run with you. So you, you ran together. This is a typical men, uh, mechanism he uses to get to know young people. He's done it throughout his life. So it was a, an opportunity for me to interview him on a run. And I think it was, uh, I, was I thought I'd test him, but he was going to test me. And um, it ended up being kind of a test for both of us. Paula Broadwell. Right. And another thing we try to show in the war is the human side of him. Um, the burden of command and the mask of command and how important it is for someone at that level to always keep that mask on to give the troops hope. He has put duty on our country and his service to the nation above his family. Um, so I almost consider that a strength and a weakness, you know? I mean, as a, as a working mother and wife, my husband works really hard too, and it's hard to find balance, but it's, you know, he's pretty clear and Holly's pretty clear about that she supported them and yet they have this wonderful marriage and very um, established children. Ladies and gentlemen, General Petraeus is presenting his wife with a bouquet of flowers and appreciation for her dedication and support.